So what I see is reflecting at this moment between us ideas we have about ourselves and our own relationship. I'm very happy to see you. Hmm? Are you happy to see me? Say to me, um, I'm happy to see you. Why are you happy to see me? Have you come into this presence at this moment in a situation of correspondence where you might begin to attempt a direct correspondence that will transcend the necessity for self-observation? A miracle? Come on in for a minute here, will you? Will you come in with me? This is being broadcast now from the satellite, isn't it? And perhaps it's time for you uh, to, uh, to develop a maturity that's possible in our correspondence through a reassociation with yourself in what you would like to see in correspondence with this. Look with me. The salvation of this world depends on you. Mm -hmm. Now let's come together for a moment. Close the door. Mm -hmm. We're not going anywhere. Close the door, why don't you? We'll take a chance on this. The, uh, the three elements that will be involved in today's teaching are as follows. Number one, that you begin to make a fundamental admission that you're responsible for the things that you're seeing. And that somewhere within the fabric of the consciousness of your identity with yourself, you have decided that going on in correspondence with you within this formulation of light energy is an alternative that is becoming more and more attractive to you by the simple admission of the possibility thereof. We will be using a direct and immediate contact with God along with uh, what most of you have now seen called the Miracle Healer's Handbook. A Miracle Healer's Handbook is one that continually calls your attention to the possibility of a whole and complete observation of yourself, not based on the sequentiality that previously correspond to the world, not based on that, but on a meeting place where just for that moment we see each other. That's a miracle. That was the miracle of the healing process that you've been working on in this Miracle Healer's Handbook. Practice. We know each other very well. All the things that will be happening for the next 23 minutes will be based on our mutual certainty of an alternative that's available within the structure of our idea of self-identity contained within ourself. And in this demonstration, I intend to offer to you the immediacy of an alternative of a true you that will give you an instant correspondence of the entirety of our relationship in eternal life. And in fact, if you'll share this with me in this miracle procedure, We'll have absolutely nothing to do with the world. Practice. This world was over a long time ago. I'll wait while you say it. Look with me. There you are. Easy now. Easy. The salvation of the world in this miracle healer's handbook depends on you. Will you say it with me? The salvation of the world depends on me. I'm depending on you. Will you help me with this? Hmm? Will you help show me the certainty that we can share moments 
of correspondence where I can demonstrate to you a reassociation of body form that will constitute what appears to be a cyclical relationship of body. The idea that I occupy a particular reference within time. Look with me at this. When at no single moment does my body actually exist at all. I'm always in preparation for a continuation of it based on my individual necessity to hold on to the idea that the particulars that represent my consciousness association can be a defensive mode wherein I find limited identity of self that justifies my apparent body identity. Practice? I'm not a body. Say it. Are you free? Are you still as God created you? Are you? Is that you? Is that you? Are you free? Are you still as God created you? Look with me. I saw you get a reflection back from this healer's handbook just for a moment and you were healed. Were you perfectly healed? Yes. Did you have anything to do with it? Absolutely not. You're whole and perfect whether you like it or not. There's nothing that you're ever going to do in any association of time that can deny you at any single moment the entire the access to universal mind that we're sharing in our relationship with reality. My concern is only about you. My concern is only about the miracle that is beginning to happen in our association with each other. We're going to take a real quick look at some evidence pertaining to you, not to others that are around you, not to other humans, not to other ideas, not to other sicknesses, not to other diseases, but only a concern about you. May I show you that? You're the one I'm concerned about. Shall I tell you why? When you have the answer, when you find the answer in your heart to love and to give and to share, so will the world. The world cannot not respond to you in your efforts to find the kingdom of God since you have already ascended to the kingdom and are spending just a moment in all of space-time there ever will be to demonstrate the conclusion of your previous need to defend yourself. The Miracle Healer's Handbook Listen to this. The secret of salvation. You're doing this to yourself. No matter what the form of attack, this still is true. Whoever takes the role of enemy and of attacker, still is this the truth. Look, whatever seems to be the cause of any pain and suffering you feel, this is still true or you would not react at all to figures in a dream. You knew that you were dreaming. Let them be as hateful and as vicious as they may. They could have no effect on you unless you fail to recognize that it is your dream. Look at me. Let's share it. I'm doing this to myself. There. You right there? You're doing this to yourself. Hmm? Yeah, you're attacking yourself. Why? What's the sense in it? You're only going to get the result of your own mind anyway. 